yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wolf? Not the wolf! <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Back here with Faker Axe. I'm Jay. I'm Kay. And we're here to do Chainsaw Man Episode 2, Arrival in Tokyo. Uh, that first episode was crazy. Sad. Yeah, really sad too. Um, I think, uh, let me see. Did, I, did we talk about how the, uh, the main character was like really fleshed out? I'm not sure no, if we did. No, yeah, we, we got I think like, we did that off screen, story. but yeah, like yeah, his backstory and how he was fleshed out as a character really dope. Um yeah. I don't want to get all into it because, you know, it's just intro. Go back and watch the other episode. Yeah, we did yeah. talk about it. Yeah, but it's I really liked the first episode. They really fleshed out Dingy really well. Um and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So Ready to get into it? Yeah, let's see what episode two. Alright, let's see if they're gonna make me cry again. Yeah. <laughs> Tedis. <laughs> Oh, I thought she was doing something. Like, why is he standing there like that? Her eyes. Mm. Oh, you love her already? I guess. Somebody come embrace you from that hell out of nowhere and you ain't never known nothing else. He's like, I fell in love. That's all it takes. I want to be fed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wolf? Not the wolf! <laughs> you know what? Maybe I need to get me one of those. One of what? One of those. Oh, the, a good dog. <laughs> yeah, maybe you do. <laughs> he don't get it. Oh, he's right. got it. Dude, that's me. <laughs> we got it, girls. We got to get ourselves a dingy. <laughs> All Dindy is is a nice guy. For well, him, not the actual boy. He's got to live his dream. Damn! She's my fool. <coughs> oh, you don't even know his backstory. He probably yeah, won't your ass. Yeah, you don't even know. You think he's a regular dude. You think he's just regular dangler to them? <gasps> Please get out and whoop his ass. Good. Yeah. Like... There we go. Thank you. Oh, shit. Now make him eat the cigarette. Because he wants to spit on you. There we go. It's not so not. <laughs> <laughs> nuts or nothing. <laughs> this will be the title. Hmm. 
This is the new version of Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto, huh? But Sakura actually seemed like she got balls this time. Yeah. Now, I would I would do this trio more like um uh the JJK trio. Yeah. Yeah, like so he's kind of looped back into where he started, but just in a different position. Yeah. But he's being taken care of, but he has to work. Genji is savage. I don't gotta turn into no monster. You don't know this man! You don't know what he been going through, okay? Chill the fuck out. No, I'm just trying to do my job. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, he just has a different way of doing it. His only friend was a devil. Exactly. So, of course he has a different point of view. And I don't like how you keep putting your hands on this man. When he whoop your ass, I don't want his shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is a trio right here. She's she's like the sensei. Boobs! <laughs> they don't stick out too much, but... I'm about to say, I think I just think it's like a... something to put on. Give her a headband or something. Yeah. Give her a hat. about to do something crazy. Ooh. Hey, these episodes are fast, man. Jeez. You got a female sensei. Yeah, that's what she's looking like. Um, shoot. Uh, yeah. Oi. Hmm. Got a female sensei. I like the little group and stuff. I mean, it's now do, as gold as boobs. Or do you want to call her sensei? I mean, do we really know her motives? Is yeah, she, we like, don't know is her she yet. legitimately. Behind his organization, she's like just you know trying to get rid of devils in the street. Does she have an ulterior motive? Yeah, you think she's gonna betray him, don't you? Yeah, it might be like um, uh, it might be like that shield hero. Remember how? Oh god. <laughs> anyway. Not nah, well. I don't mean in that fashion or how that happened, but I would just mean like betrayed. It's like he's still battling on whether or not she's a good or a bad person. 
and stuff and he's still trying to figure that out so we don't really know a lot about miss maki yeah is that her name? maki something like that yeah Ma- maki Ma- maki Ma? something like yeah that. yeah but i guess it's gonna figure itself out but i think this episode definitely wasn't did have the same flavor as the first episode but i feel like the it's setting up essentially the story setting a timeline on what's going to be happening so now we know we don't know whether or not we can tra- trust miss maki that's always going to be in the back of our heads we got introduced to fiends we know that the group wants to the public commission wants to get rid of them mm. if he doesn't you know if he do, if he quits or whatever he's going to be disposed of so we're just setting up a, the storylines right now for the season mm-hmm. so it makes sense um and just how they build it all but i i, I mean i feel satisfied with it you yeah uh it's it felt quick yeah um what is it uh i'm really i'm really looking forward to their interactions uh with power dingy and uh the other guy the uh the guy with the sword yeah yeah Yeah. so i'm looking forward to like their interactions together um they look like they have fun in that damn intro so i'm pretty sure they will be yeah true um her power looked pretty cool it looks like she can using manifest the... uh just objects yeah using her blood which um i think for a fiend that's not a bad power honestly because you can still be kind of incognito a little bit within you know society and still be able to use your powers when you know dingy when he wants to use his he's gonna have chains all everywhere like you know yeah. what i mean so it's like she's kind of got sort of an incognito ability a little bit minus the horns they um, put a hat over it. <laughs> yeah yeah she could just wear a hat like you know um so i think that's cool and then also um miss uh 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 what's her name uh miss maki Ma or whatever maki Ma, Ma. Yeah. I, right now i'm calling her maki yeah it looks like i feel like she's a fiend as well i think she's a fiend them eyes yeah i think she's a fiend because uh power got introduced and she got introduced and she had crazy eyes she's the only other one so far that we've seen with those eyes that we know is a fiend so i feel like uh so Ms. why maki don't Ma, we so what's going on with the other guy the guy with the sword why is he in that division I mean, uh, he might, I mean, he might just be a regular dude that just got saved from like maybe some, uh, some mission that got, that happened. He was like a civilian or something. And like, she was like, oh, come work for me or something. Like, that's what I think. I don't think he's, um, no, yeah, he's not a fiend. Cause like he said his whole family got killed off by a devil and stuff like that. He got a revenge plot. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think so. I think he's just, I think he's just a regular human, but he's there for Maki. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I feel like 100% she's a fiend, um, which makes sense because it's like, you know, even though she's head of this uh, organization and everything, she and says... you think she's hiding it or you think she's like, they know about it? No, I think she's hiding it. No. Um, yeah, I feel, like it's, I feel like it's hidden. I don't think it was uh, suggested by um, the one guy. I need to start remembering their names, the guy with the sword. I don't think it was suggested by him... Uh, simply because of his hate for devils and and by that I feel like since he hates devils he probably somewhat hates fiends so like I feel like if that was the case I don't think he would want to work under her so yeah. I don't so I don't think, he, don't knows. think he knows yeah, yeah I don't think he knows yet but um but yeah I feel like it just makes sense because like you know she's probably like yeah you know like I'm a fiend like so I feel like I need a um a uphold, I should hold like a certain standard for fiends everywhere and like you know basically get them to come work for me and have them like on the same um like wave or whatever you, you whatever you want to say so that they're not like running a muck amongst society that they're actually kind of contributing towards society and stuff like that so I feel like uh so yeah so that's why i feel like she's a fiend because like it just it just makes sense and then the whole eyes thing it's like why would just random people in the show just randomly have designs on their eyes like Mm. i don't know because everybody else just has basic eyes like you know basic anime eyes so uh we gonna get the backstory i'm excited to see yeah so but yeah that's my prediction i think she is one so we'll see we'll see
Well, definitely make sure you guys are liking this video, subscribing, commenting, all those good things. Mm -hmm. We are on a roll to a thousand, so make sure you are, you know, if you watch this, our videos like a couple times, go ahead and hit the, the subscribe button at this mm -hmm. point. Don't be a hater. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see y'all next time, okay? All right, y'all. Bye.